Hi and welcome back. This is Steve from Ski Coach Online. And in this video, we're going to look at how to ski moguls if you've never skied them before or bumps. Um, so this is good for if at the end of the day it gets a little bit chopped up and a little bit mogly on the on the ski home or if you see some bumps off the side of the piece and you fancy a little go in there then this tip's for you let's check it out so the first step is here i find myself on the side of the piece and there's a little bit of a ridge line um, so the way i think about moguls is that they're very small uh, mountains so as we ski down the mountain um, you've probably been told before that you need to turn back up the mountain to slow yourself down um, and if you go down the mountain you're going to go a little bit faster so it's the same way then if, um, if we see the bump as a mini mountain if I go up the bump that's essentially like me going up the hill and as I go down the back side of it that's like me going down the hill um, so the tip is as you go up the bump, you're going to be going up it on one foot. Um, as you get to the top, that's when you can then switch and go on to the other foot as you then come back down. So for example, as I ski this ridge line here, I'm going up the hill on one foot and I go down the hill on the other. So I'm going around here on my right foot and I switch to my left as I then come down. Um, that way then it enables me to get a little bit of grip on the backside so I can continue to ski with a little bit of control. Um, if you find you come over the top and we switch a little bit late, whoa, then you might be able to see there that the ski then goes without you um, as it starts to go down the hill a little bit faster. Um, so keep that in mind and use the ridge line just like this here, up on the left, down on the right up on the right, down on the left. It just, the important thing is, is to swap feet. So if you go up on one foot, make sure you go down the backside on the other foot. Let's check it out in the bumps. So here we are then off the side of the piece with some bumps. So I've tried it now on the ridge line and I've made a couple of turns and I think I can link a few of those turns together whilst changing my feet as I go up and over that ridge. So essentially practicing going up the hill on one foot and down the hill on the other. So what I'm gonna do is give that a little try in these bumps. So as I go down, I come up on one foot, down on the other. So I go up on one foot, down on the other. Up on one, down on the other. So it doesn't matter if you have a little bit of a slide in, if you're sliding up on one foot, you can slide down on another. It doesn't matter if you're kind of carving in and then trying to carve out. The same thing goes each time. I go up on one foot and down on the other. So here I come. The faster I go through them, I might need to bend my legs a little bit um, as I go up one and then extend as I go down the other. But it's just important to remember to keep yourself balanced um, on that outside foot as early as possible. Um, that you go up one side on one foot and then come down the back side on the other foot. That way then you can have a bit more control as you come down the back side as those skis start to go a little bit faster. Uh, thank you for watching. Give